Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Sunday, the 26th of June, 2022. And uh, we've had quite a bit of rain uh, through the night and this morning. Not bad, I was enjoying it actually quite a bit. But uh, it felt really, really good. And uh, so, just looking at all this, it's uh, not too bad. All right, so right now it's not raining, but you can still see there's there's more rain in the forecast for today. Uh, I definitely, it is about 11.30 right now, and uh, I definitely caught up on some sleep, which I absolutely needed. I woke up this morning uh, at like 8, and because uh, I had taken a nap last night, and then I woke up, and then I was up for a while, and then I crashed out, and then I woke up at 8, and it was raining pretty good at 8 o'clock, and I was like, well... I'm going to go back to sleep, and that's what I did. So, <laughs> and I woke up at 11, but uh, feel much better. All right, so I wanted to talk about in this video, uh, maintaining two homesteads. What's my, what is my plan? What am I going to be doing, okay? Uh, people, I saw some questions. People said, are you going to divvy up your supplies uh, into both locations? And, uh, you know, that way... You have both locations ready. Uh, ultimately, the game plan, all right, ultimately the game plan is going to be to sell the New York property. Uh, I'm not going to ever do it through a realtor again because they have no idea what they're doing, um, you know, when it comes to an off-grid property. I mean, he, the, the, the realtor I had realistically did nothing. So, uh, ultimately, I do plan on selling the New York property. That is the you know, the goal is to sell that property. For right now, um, I'm going to hold on to it, all right? But, uh, like I say, ultimately the goal is to get rid of that property. So I will continue to work on things down here. I will continue to bring supplies down here whenever I make trips to New York. Um, I'm not coming with an empty truck. I will, you know, I and then if I, just, you know, get the motorcycle, if I'm going to bring the motorcycle down, uh, then I will you know, bring the trailer up and, and trailer the motorcycle down. So, I do have, you know, like I said, I ultimately I want to be here. This is where I want to be. I want to be in West Virginia. Now, um, you know, moving forward, obviously I have a lot of work to do. No, absolutely no doubt about that, and I know that. Uh, there's a lot that's got to happen here. So, with taking the house off the market, uh, you know, it takes the stress if you will of oh my god we got to do it as fast as possible so that's a good thing um, i can always revisit selling the property in the spring you know that would be that would be okay um, right now like i said it's just not a doable uh not a doable situation and uh, it like i said it's just going to make it better i can gradually i mean as much as i have brought down already um and looking at what i still have <laughs> in New York, I'm like, oh my God, this is going to take forever. But again, I'm trying to rent a U-Haul right now with the gas and, and all that type of stuff and then put like a tow package and drag the truck behind, I mean, that would be like ridiculously expensive. Um, this way I still have to go back to New York every month anyway. So, you know, I'll just like I said, slow and steady is how I'm going to do it. And uh, I will continue to work on things down here. I will build something down here. And, uh, you know, I'll just take my time and not be in a rush. And when I get to a point where I'm like, okay, we could survive down here. We got a place to live down here, you know, other than the camper. Um, the camper's awesome, not going to lie. Uh, but, you know, having other options is going to be an important aspect of what I want to do. So we're going to end up having to build ourselves. We already know that. Anybody that's watched the videos knows uh, I can't get anything wider than 10 foot wide back here. So, um, Eric's big blue house is 10 by 16. Uh, I could get a bunch of those down here, but that'd be great. Those would be great for like guest cabins or, you know, having it be a bedroom, if you will. Small bedroom, but a uh, bedroom. Uh, those can always be, additions can always be added onto those as well. So, I mean, like I said, there, there's, uh, you know, and if I build myself, then it's just going to, you know, it'll come together. So, that's kind of what the game plan is going to be. So for the foreseeable future, 
Um, and when I say the foreseeable future, I mean probably till at least next spring. Um, I will be spending the majority of my time here in West Virginia, uh, a small amount of time in New York each month. And, uh, you know, because that way I can work on things that I need to work on up there, uh, take care of things, make sure everything's squared away, and then, uh, you know, do what I need to do with that, and then I can still come down here and I can work. And then, like I said, the pressure's off. It's not like, oh my God, I got to get everything done yesterday. Oh, these freaking bugs are ridiculous. Um, now I can, uh, you know, I can take my time and, and, and get done what I need to get done. If I'm moving, they're, they're not as bad. <laughs> it's when you stand still that they're like, oh, something to climb onto. Um, so anyway, that is, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So this, like I said, this way the pressure is off. I'm not in any kind of rush thinking, oh my God, how am I going to get everything done? How am I going to get everything down here? Um, what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? So, um, so the answer to the, the person's question, that will I be splitting up supplies? Uh, for the short term, yes, I will have supplies in both locations. Uh, but I am going to be gradually bringing the majority of my things down here. Because, hello? Um, because I know that, uh, like I said, this is ultimately where I plan to be. Now, if Becky um, and Heather join me, um, that's fine. I know Heather will for sure. Um, I don't know what Becky will do longer term. Uh, we'll have to cross those bridges when we get there. I mean, right now she has a boyfriend and everything is good that way. But uh, we'll have to, you know, we'll have to see what happens there. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Mom said that once I get something built down here that she would come. So, you know, uh, it, like I said, it's not going to be... That's not going to be anything that happens overnight. Uh, again, with the cost of everything now, you know, like I said, and I don't have unlimited funds. I wish I did. It would be nice, but I don't. So, uh, you know, I just, like I said, I'm just doing what I can do. I'm taking care of what I can take care of, and that's it. And that's what we will continue to do. So, uh, you know, I, uh, like I said, there is enough to keep me busy, which is good. Uh, which I like that. I, I'd rather be busy. It uh, it makes things so much better than sitting around. Um, I have also stated to you guys I do not plan on wintering in New York, and that is still my game plan. I plan on wintering down here. Uh, it just uh, New York sucks in the winter. <laughs> so, um, but I, like I said, I just uh, there's a lot that I want to do, a lot that I need to take care of, and so that's just what I'm going to do. It's just. Uh, but, like I say, the ultimate end game plan is to be here full-time in West Virginia and not have to worry about traveling back and forth to New York. But uh, for right now, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, so, like I said, it just it takes a lot of pressure off of me. And uh, eventually, you know, I will put a, a property on the market. I may do it for sale by owner. Uh, willing to do owner finance, that type of thing. Not 100% sure yet. Hello? Don't be going down to that spring. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's kind of what the game plan is. I just wanted to let you all know that. Um, I will be live streaming tonight at 8 p.m. And I'm sure people will have questions uh, then as well. I don't want her getting into that spring. But, uh... So as you can see, it's kind of foggy. You see all the fog and stuff through there. Uh, there's actually a little bit of fog in through here. You probably can't see it too well, but it's there. There she comes. Yeah, I know where you were going. I know where you were going. Yes. So really quickly, guys, um, I do want to remind you all that I am doing my sale of the Legacy Freeze-Dried Foods on my website at PrepperNurse1.com. Uh, that sale started yesterday, no, Friday, started Friday. 20% uh, off sale of the freeze-dried fruit food on my website. So if you go to PrepperNurse1.com, you click on store, it will drop down, you will see Legacy Foods, you click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. 25-year shelf life, GMO-free, gluten options available for people that need that. It is also vegetarian, but there are beef and chicken options that can be purchased separately. 
it is the largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies so definitely take advantage of that as well uh, 20 percent off you use the discount code summer sale 2022 and you will save 20 percent when you check out okay so definitely uh, take advantage of that freeze-dried food is a good thing to have uh, long term also we have the um, forefathers which is a cbd and hemp store so definitely take advantage of that as well uh, if you go to my website preppernurse pre onecom you will see the forefathers logo you click on that it will take you to their website you can make a cbd or hemp purchase uh, if you decide to uh, you can save 15% on that purchase by using the discount code PREPPERNURSE1 over on their website. So definitely take advantage of that as well. All right. Uh, we also have the Prepper Nurse one community on my website. Uh, that is free to join. You do have to register, but it does not cost anything. These freaking bugs are relentless, guys. I'll tell you what. I may have to start doing these videos with a head net on out here. Um, <laughs> i got to get this grass cut down. That'll help. But uh, anyway, so that, uh, it's free to join. You do have to register, but no credit card information is asked. It's a good place to check out uh, like-minded people, so definitely check that out as well. All right, well, for right now, I'm going to jump off of here. Again, remember, I will be live streaming tonight at 8 p.m., so I will see you all then. Topic to be determined. I haven't decided what that's going to be yet. But uh, remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that you care about every day how you feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you tonight. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.